Hey, Vodnichi. Legendary Vodnik back with another recap. This time it's for 2021. Let's have a little blast from the past and see how many songs I released this year. Just like last year, I will be mentioning all of my different bands and projects. Let's get started. On April 10th, 2021, I released my first Vodnik track of the year. It was one that I wanted to do for quite a long time. The idea just came to me as I was taking a shower, as most good ideas do. And I was listening to Bottoms Up by Trey Songs, and I was thinking, oh man, this would sound really good with some guitar over it. One thing led to another, I was already working with Trey Watson at the time. You know, Trey Watson covers Trey Songs. And I ended up reaching out to him and asking him, hey, would you want to cover this song with me? And he's like, let's do this. So I did the guitar and the drums, he did the vocals and the bass, and we ended up making a neat little fusion between metal and hip-hop. What would you call that? Mip-mop? Hettle? Hip-metal-hop? An abomination? I guess it's subjective. Anyway, that was fun. I got to do one of Nicki Minaj's verses. Can I get that drum? Can I get that Remy? Can I get that coke? Can I get that Henny? Can I get... I had fun. You can check that over here if you're brave enough. On April 21st, my atmospheric death metal band called Control released a cover of 1999 by Prince. This was a real fun one. I did the uh, guitars, obviously. Um, and everyone in the band really lent a hand in this situation. The bass player did the bass plan, the drummer did the drumming, and if, if you know Control, you'll know that the vocal responsibilities are done mainly by the frontman, Father Control, also known as my best friend, Barrington, and I help out as well with backup vocals. The exciting part about this one was that I also got my girlfriend, Adriana, to lend a hand. She's the other vocalist in our duo called Rhombus. So she did all the female vocals in the song. <laughs> it turned out to be like a really interesting blend between like brutal, extreme, atmospheric death metal and pop. Check it out and hear me try to sing like Prince. Song number three. This is a song that I've been working on for a long time. It's like a collaboration effort between myself and Captain Graveyard. So on June 1st, the beginning of Pride Month, we released a cover of Chasing Rainbows by Big Frida. I have a lot of friends who I just want to support. I want them to be themselves and I want them to be happy. So I was super excited when I got the opportunity to lend a hand with the guitars for this track with Jennifer. We ended up making a music video for this track as well. And it was a lot of fun. We used a green screen, we used lots of different colors. Lots of memes, of course. Memes are important. It should be very entertaining to watch, so go check that out. I feel like whenever I do that, I make the beluga face, like... I also feel like working with Captain Graveyard kind of opened the door to some new opportunities. So we'll see if we get the chance to work together in the future. Between June and October was a four-month period where I focused mainly on the production of the new Vodnik album. During this process, I got the pleasure of working together with two members from my favorite band, Vilyarta. After reaching out to them through their company, Thal Industries, I sent my demos over, and it was received with open arms, first by Cal Thomer, who was in charge of production and riff polishing. Once the meat and the bones was there, it was sent over to Daniel Bergstrom, who was in charge of mixing and mastering. Daniel's also a master of adding different layers of ambience to add and build to a soundscape. He can really create an atmosphere. He made a large impact when it came to the album flowing from song to song. But we decided to focus on one song ahead of the rest of them because, well, it's best to release a single first anyway to get people's attention and start to build up the hype. I chose to go all out with this song called Undervalued. It was released on October 2nd with a full professionally done music video 
and a guest solo from renowned violinist slash cello player Sage Cornelius. This track I decided I'm going to keep as an instrumental because it's got enough going on, it's got enough story, and it doesn't really need any lyrics to further the message behind it. Go and watch the music video, and as for the message and the meaning, I'll let you interpret that for yourselves. On December 8th of 2021, Rhombus released Dreamscape 2.0, which is um, a remastered, uh, partially re-recorded version of our song Dreamscape, with an updated mix and updated vocals. But instead of calling it Dreamscape 2.0, we decided to simply call it Dreamscape. And lastly, on December 30th of 2021, Rhombus released, again, remastered, re-recorded vocals version of our other single, Heartbinder. So it would be Heartbinder 2.0, but to simplify things, we decided to call it Heartbinder. Both of those singles are now available on all streaming services. If you're into pop punk with a bit of a progressive metal, gen T, a little bit of emo twist, then I'd say that one's for you. It's highly up the alley for fans of Destiny Potato and, um, you know, a dynamic between um, male vocals, female vocals, and progressive metal. So that brings my official total of released songs in 2021 to... Six. What else did I do in 2021? Well, a lot of things, I guess. Earlier in the year, I tried my hand at doing weed reviews. I made a video that compares five different LPs, all producing the same strain, Pink Kush, and how it differs from LP to LP. That one turned out pretty interesting. You know where to check it out. Another thing that I had started doing or tried doing for the first time is reaction videos. And I figured, you know, for my first set of reaction videos, I should do something that's basically about my favorite band. So I asked members of Vildiarda Thal Posting if I should do a reaction video to the entire album during the premiere. The answer was a unanimous yes. So I filmed it at the premiere on October 15th, and then spent the next three months editing it and releasing it song by song, piece by piece. It's 17 tracks long. I didn't really know what I was getting myself in for, but overall the results have been really good. All of the views for all 17 videos put together, it adds up to over 5,000 views, and I'm happy with that. In the process, I also found a lot of new subscribers for my channel, so welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the Vojnici family. Also at this point, I have officially reached over 400 subscribers on YouTube, which is great. My goal is still a thousand, which means I'm 40% of the way. Since it's now a new year, my Gent 2021 playlist has become Gent 2022. And at this point, it's got over 3,500 followers. Damn. That's an improvement. Big jump there. Vodnik also reached a new record for monthly listeners around November, when it peaked at 1,515. That's definitely a step into the right direction. And now it's sitting comfortably at around 900. I'm thankful to everyone who has put Undervalued or any of my other tracks on any of their playlists. Help spread that around. I also made some pretty cool custom business cards with a QR code on the back. It links directly to my music video. Thanks to Rob Walden, who, as a part of my social media overall overhaul with a bunch of different art, like for my banner, profile picture, and backgrounds, and all that kind of stuff, so we took from that theme, which we made like consistent again across all of my social medias and uh, adapted it into a business card. I think it looks pretty slick and uh, it's kind of nice being able to hand them out. I also want to mention that I got some new merch made also by the same guy, Rob Walden. 
he made me a couple of new designs which are pretty slick. I mean, go check them out for yourselves. There's a couple new ones you should notice it. Follow the link. That's about it, you know? Um, less total releases for songs, but plenty of work done. Lots of productivity, lots of achievements, and uh, lots of, like, setup and build up for what's to come this year. So, I'm already getting excited about next year, well, this year's recap. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for your support. Legendary Vodnik, out. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's the way it, that's the way to do it.